It's time for Ask the Love Coach with love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica. Hello. Welcome. Are you ready for our next letter? Let's hear it. Michelle, the next letter is from a woman who feels she's caught in the middle. She writes, Dear Michelle, my brother had a very bitter divorce. His ex has made it clear that she wants nothing to do with anybody in his family except for me. We used to be girlfriends, but I can't face her for all the pain she's caused, and I certainly can't act like nothing's happened between us. How do I make it clear we can't be friends when she is bad-mouthing my brother and our whole family? Wow, yeah. I mean, I really see how you're being put in the middle here. And um, I, I also heard that, you know, you can't be friends the way it is right now uh, with her. So I'm not fully clear, though, on what you want for yourself. So, you know, are you open to a friendship with her? You know, if she were to change your behavior, make amends, or are you clear that it's just, you know, too much has happened and there's just too much pain here to be able to be friends with her? So if it's the latter, then there's really a way to, to share with her compassionately that you really appreciated the friendship that you both had together and that, you know, you're sorry. It just, it's, it's not going to work for you to stay in touch with her based on how things went with your brother and, um, and the family and that, you know, you, you know, she might not like this answer. She might try to think you're trying to punish her, you know, but you don't need to take the bait. You just stand with firm compassion and just, you know, wish her well. And, um, I'm sorry, but it's just not going to work to be friends with you. Uh, but the other answer, so if you are open to a friendship with her, if she were to change your behavior, it, then that's something you could communicate with her. So it's really like, you know, you're leaving a door open for her if she chooses to, to walk through it, right? So you could say something like, you know, um, I really enjoyed our friendship from the past. And unfortunately, it just, it wouldn't work for me to stay friends with you unless you were to really make amends to my brother, our family, um, you know, the way you speak about them, the way you've treated him and us. And um, so I don't know if you're open to that, but that would be something that I could see, you know, I don't know how that's gonna work, how much time that might take, might take but I would be open to a friendship with you. And, um, and, and the reason I'm, I'm giving you this answer is that it's sort of like you don't have to be the bad guy here saying no to her or to be caught in the middle this way. You're, I'm basically giving you a way to stand in, you know, what would really work for you and what feels good to you. And, you know, you're not calling her names. You're not, um, you're just compassionately sending her on her way and leaving the choice up to her. Here are the options for, for her if she wants to be friends with you. To submit your question for Michelle, contact her at celebratingact2.com slash ask.